50, 49, 48. I forgot the Spanish translation for these. Yikes. Is four Vienti? No, that's 20. Okay, good day. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna, in this one, it's gonna be, it should be real fast. This is something I should have went over way at the beginning. Here we go. So, real quick, I'm gonna help you navigate the map so you understand how to do your missions more. I wish I had a better quest to make it a bit more relatable, but unfortunately, quests change once you reach one. So, many of the missions in this game, well, not many, basically all of the missions in this game will be directing you to places throughout your map that you need to find to complete the mission. So, quick two notes about the map, about navigating your missions. One, do not let the game take you to your mission. You see how, you see in the bottom right of, of this page you're on right now, Commander continue to fight. You see the missions, right? If I press play, it will not take, it likely will not take me to my mission. This game has a horrible automatic system. Don't press play. Manually find the mission you need. So let's read mine. Mine wants me to complete two fight the storms, ride the landings, or fight category three storm missions in a 94 plus zone. Okay, so that's only Entwine Peaks. Bam, just navigate the map and find those missions. Let's see, in a 94, fight the storm, ride the lightning, or a cat three. Okay, none there. Oh, there we go. Found it. Do not. Repeat. Red alert, red alert. Do not let the game take you places. It will take you to the wrong place. This happens all the time. I'm sorry, it sucks. <laughs> Blame Epic. Okay. Two. There are three, I believe, three important things you have to understand about the missions. It's going to tell you what you're looking for. Then it'll tell you the power level, and then it'll tell you the biome. So, for example, I just helped a dude. He said he needed to look for garbage cans. That's all the information he gave me. There's got to be more, homie. Can you stream? Oh, what do you know? In a 9-plus city, suburban, or industrial zone. So, remember, read everything. Number one most important rules, don't trade, read everything. So, let's find a 9-plus. Oh, there we go. 9-plus suburb right there. So, I'm going to zoom in. We're going to go over everything real quick. So, this is your mission type. The green symbol, or the symbol, doesn't matter the color for me, it's all green. The biome is the bottom left, suburbs. That's the biome. See? Industrial park, different biome. Grasslands, those are biomes. The bottom left is the biomes. Stonewood's obviously the area. Power level, that's the lightning bolt. Same as your... As your power level, power level of the mission. 9+. plus. Power level, biome, read where it tells you to go. Do not let it automatically take you places. So, once again, I said I, this was going to be a quick one. To reiterate, if you needed to go to a... If the mission quest tells you to search <laughs> trash cans, it sounds so silly, in a 9+, plus city, suburban, or industrial zone, don't let it take you there. Look in your map. Usually they, they have power levels divided into sections of the map. In Stonewood it's a bit messy because of how little missions there are and how compact it is. It's easier to navigate in higher in the other three zones. But here we go, let's look for it. Oh, there we go, there's our 9 plus. M mind you, they always say plus. So this means if it tells you a 9 plus city, suburban, or industrial, that means this works too, even though it's power level 15, because 9 plus means 9 and above. So this mission would also work for the quest. Read. Power level, biome, what do you need to do? It's that simple. Don't let the game automatically do it. Manually do your stuff. Bounce out with that fofo. Less trading, less begging, more playing, and more learning. I'm sorry about that industry that you might hear in the background. <laughs> Construction. It's New York.